Maybe you're in a relationship right now and the person you're in a relationship with is telling you it's time to take the next step. And, and you feel this pressure because you want to follow what God's word says about marriage and sex, but you also don't want to lose your relationship with this person you really care about. And so what are you supposed to do? Well, if you find yourself in this kind of situation, I want to tell you a story from the first book of the Bible, the book of Genesis. It's about Joseph, who's this young man, and he finds himself in Potiphar's house. And Potiphar's wife is infatuated with him. And she tells him that she wants him to come to bed with her. Now, he's in a very difficult situation because if he sleeps with her, he's going to get certain protection and privileges. Uh, she's probably going to take care of him. And if he denies her, he could lose his job or even go into jail. And so it seems logical that he would sleep with her, and yet he denies every one of her requests. And he tells us why. Uh, one time when she corners him, he says this, How could I do such a wicked thing and sin against God? You see, Joseph calls this sex outside of marriage, he doesn't just call it an opinion, his own idea. He says it's a wicked thing against a holy God. And then he says that he cares more about God's approval and honoring God than maintaining these privileges or this relationship. If you're in this kind of situation, I want you to follow Joseph's example. Call sex out of marriage for what it is. Joseph said it is a wicked thing. See it as a sin against God. And remember that you are called to honor God even above any of your earthly relationships. Now finally, when, when Joseph is cornered, he decides the only thing he can do is flee the situation and get out of there. And maybe that's where you're at right now. If you continue to get pressured into sex, maybe it's time to leave and move on. I know this isn't easy, but you are not alone. Jesus is with you. He will walk with you through these relationships. Continue to be faithful to him. Let's pray. Lord God, help us to honor you above all things. Forgive us for all of our sins and give us your Holy Spirit so that we can live for you above all else. In your name we pray, amen. Did you enjoy this video? Oh, we would love to share with you so much more. Just click here.